Greetings, Internet. I'm Ashita Zazil. I'm Nitrid. Hi. And today is a very momentous day for me. In November of 2013, approximately, I, kicked, I backed on Kickstarter a product called the Neptune Pine, what claimed to be the world's first standalone Android platform smartwatch phone device. And today it is finally here in my hands. Yay. So. He's so excited. You guys know how long I've been talking about this. Oh, yeah. You guys thought it would never come, didn't you? I didn't think it would. No, I have faith in the Postal Service. I'm sure I'm sure David thought it would never come. You just come. kept complaining about how much delayed it was getting, and I was just like, Which, when the fuck is this thing ever going to come? I will give Neptune credit on that. They were very transparent about the delays, and I, was, I didn't have a major problem with most of the reasons. But, uh... All that is forgiven now because it's finally here, so I'm gonna do an unboxing video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Internet. Ichi, let me use my keys to cut it open if you want. Sure. Okay. Thank you. I'm just gonna dub in the Zelda treasure sound here. Oh, let's see what we got here first. Ooh, probably the invoice. Neptune Computer Inc. Thank you for your order. I like how, I like how in your like name says Christopher. She is the only kid. Well, yeah, it's because I attached my Facebook account. Ah. Oh. oh. Here we have it. Such packaging. Where? Much loud. Very blue line. Yes. All right. So here we have the box for the Neptune Pine. Very slim. Very sleek. It's irrelevant because you're gonna rip it open. <laughs> exactly. That's why I'm savoring this now. It's like an energon key. <laughs> yeah. I will have to use the key again. Yes. Keys are best opening. Yes. Well, at least I get to witness one of these things being opened myself. So it's yeah, quite an experience. Okay. Oh, look. It even. If, I don't know if you can see it, but it says pine in very light letters there. Pine? Yeah, yeah I see it. Cool. Inlaid white on white. Very cool. Oh, ooh, it's a blue box. Quick start guide. Oh god, it's gonna give you morphing abilities. Yeah, it will. I will make it happen. 90s kids fiction reference. Is that it? Oh my god. Let's see? This oh. is it. Oh, oh. Oh. It's pretty sweet. So it's it's bigger than I thought. Yeah, that's, a lot of people said that it was bigger than they were expecting. It's big enough to not be gaudy. Exactly, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Plus, it's 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 got a, a standard Android resolution of 360 by 240, so the best thing about this is that it will run most existing Android apps. Does, hmm. it, have an, does it have an inbuilt camera or no? Yeah, it's got two cameras. A VGA one for video chats, and a, I believe it's 5 megapixel on the back. Cool. That's not bad. About the same as a phone. Yeah. yeah. A bit less for a back camera. Usually. Not that I'm concerned yeah. about the camera. Yeah, it's a watch. The back camera is useless. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, it looks like we've got iPod style packaging here where everything's very compartmentalized. Mm -hmm. uh, you probably buy their boxes from the same people. Yeah, probably. Okay, here we have a very nice micro USB cord. Nice. Very unique look to it. Hmm. I'll pop that open real quick. Probably usable with other things you want. Oh, yeah, for sure. Most micro USB cables are pretty common. Yeah. Hmm. Here we have the power adapter. Very nice Neptune logo on it. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. Doesn't look like it would be too much of an impediment on a surge protector, space-wise. That's why they build them so slim now. Exactly. And here we have the watch. Oh shit! Looking picture. Oh, it looks big enough. And here we have the wrist Net. watch attachment. This is bigger than I was expecting. Wow. That is a bit big to be. That that is a bit gaudy, but that's okay. It's totally worth. It. Oh yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and pop it in and see what it looks like. Does that come in white too? I saw the uh, mod the models that I saw online had a white band. They do. S they will sell it in white. I don't think it's available in white for the the backs the backers because okay. I did initially try and get it in white, but they said due to. Uh, delays with the the white colored ones. They were changing them all to blacks, which you know, I'm okay with. You know what? The white ones would stand out a bit too. They much. would. I actually am glad I got the black one. Yeah. Mm. Now let's see how this fits in. Lengthwise, the lengthwise. So it looks like this is this is how you release it. it looks. There's this little button here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pop this in. 
just want to make sure I get this right here. I believe it's this way. Gotcha. And there we go. Very cool. Now the first thing you got to do is for your text message ringtone. Exactly. Yes. And let's pop it up. Let's like that this way. There we go. I haven't decided which hand to main. You wear your, I, always, you, I always go left. You, you wear your watch on your off hand. Mm -hmm. That's how it's supposed to be. Uh, yeah, I'll probably end up switching it over, but this is just... Maybe yeah. dexterous people must be killing themselves then. Look at your hand. That one's it's not that bad. It's just where you... It's where it's most people... It's, it's how watches... Let me make people. sure... Let me take a look at the guy just make sure I'm not putting this in the wrong way. Well, the easy way to do it is see how there's connectors there, just see where the connectors yeah, match up on that's the what I'm thinking. connecting point. Yeah. Also, I don't think that'll fit lengthwise. So I think. Oh, I just want to make sure I had it, it was this way or that way. Yeah. I believe it's this way. Yeah, I think so. you're good. Now that's never going to leave your wrist. <laughs> Except for the shower I'm about to take. <laughs> oh, I think it's sick. Cool, man. Mm. The button to release it takes a little bit of effort, but... It'll loosen up over time. I'm sure. Probably. So, taking a look at the device itself. Very nice screen. Uh, we've got the headphone adapter here. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe this is either the speaker or the, or, the micro or the microphone. Now, does it come with a charge on it? I don't know. I'm going to actually charge it. There's actually a lot of smart watches out on the out on the market now. Not like a lot, a lot, but there's about three. There's about two or three more options than the Neptune Pine now. Are are any of them like standalone phones? Uh, I don't, don't think any of them are. I don't know. I think the Pebble Steel might be. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. I'll but, look uh, into that. So we've got the micro USB port over there. We've got the volume and power buttons right over there. And the cool thing about this is you don't just have to use it on your wrist with a speakerphone, you can actually hold it up to your ear and use it as a regular phone. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And of course you can hook a headset to it. That's probably what you'll do. That reminds me so much of that Futurama gag with, Amy, with Amy's tiny, tiny little phone that yeah. she accidentally inhales sometimes. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, so that's been the unboxing video. I'm going to do a part two where I fire this up and try out some accessories and some apps on it. So. Stay tuned for that. Cool. Peace. Welcome to part two of my Neptune Pine unboxing slash testing video. I'm Sheeta Zazio. Hi, I'm Nitrid. I'm Cell Saga. I'm Paul. I got Cell. Oh. You, you can't see him, but my friends are all around to witness. Here's this my amazing, thumb this and, and the lens. In fact, screw it. I'm going to show everybody. Uh, ah, That's I... Lane. That's Cell. That's Paul. This is me. Paul. <laughs> Wall, P U W U A L L. Same way we spell balls. Balls, yeah. Kick, Great, now this will look really professional. Kick Paul in the balls. Now this will look really professional. Okay, that's, okay, that's, okay, that's the blooper. Yeah. There is actually a W in my name. Ishi, cut this out. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's been charged. We're going to fire up my new toy. It vibrates. I wonder what we're going to use that for later. <laughs> that's going to be fun for those lonely nights. Neptune. Let's go ahead and zoom in. It's exciting. Yeah, it is. It's like the greatest day of my life. Oh my god. Look, I got an erection. <laughs> uh, I can so a half Here we have the lock screen. Pretty cool. Pretty standard. It's a watch. Oh, yay. Well, I can customize it, obviously. Does it have an optional thing for an actual clock face? Oh, I'm sure it does. Um, you watch enthusiast. Oh, yeah, they're interesting. <laughs> oh, wow, look. I never I haven't owned a watch since I got my first iPod Touch. I have from Ichi. 
Not often for him. Why, it was me. 80 bucks. Oh, there you go. Analog clock, which is the back button here. That's the back button. I wonder if that changes the lock screen one. Can you call somebody? Me? Not yet. I haven't put my SIM card in yet. Oh, you bitch. So there's the analog clock. We need proof that it's actually a phone, Ichi. <laughs> yeah, not the super secret technology we stole that night. Yeah. I'll put, I my, mean... SIM I'll put my SIM card in later. So let's see what kind of built-in apps we got. A browser, which I will swiftly replace with Chrome. Yes. Calculator. That all works. We've seen that in the fucking promo videos that have been torturing me for the last year. What? Nice touch response. You yep. can see right just from here. Oh, I have to... I'm going to go ahead and set up my Google account. It's going to turn on the Wi-Fi. Yosh. See what your internet is And here we have the keyboard. Pretty nice. Mm. So... Rock Fellas are gonna hate you. No, for all you one handed typists out there. <laughs> yeah. And there are some, I do it myself. I'm gonna pull it off screen while I take in my Wi Fi password. It's true, I'm quite prefer no, here's, no, here's, yeah. a, here's a shaman card. Isn't it cute? <laughs> Actually, no, use that as a sense of scale. That, like, that's a Pokemon card right there, like average size. Oh, yeah, that's a good it's idea. It's a full art shaman, the X. But that's your. There's, there's a comparison of a Pokemon card to the Neptune Pine. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, there you go, Mulga. Okay, so sure. much cuter. Yeah. As you the the see. lighting is not amazing, but it's actually decently thick, too. Alright, it's small, but it can get the job done. Let's do this. <laughs> right at my. It's like no. Sam. For all those people who have seen that god awful YouTube ad. Uh, I have Sam in my pants right now. Okay. I have sand in my pants. Really? Yeah. I have. It's gotta suck. I have ants in my pants. <laughs> it is summer. This summer, Lightroom has ants in his pants. <laughs> oh god, help me! <laughs> Only on... felt, we're just gonna put ants in, in, in Lane's pants and we're gonna see how he likes it. Only on Fox. Killer fire ants. <laughs> <laughs> Did I miss <gasps> it? The last one? You're doing great, Lane. You're doing great. I'm ants in my pants, You'll Lane. be the biggest you've ever been, but it'll be from swelling. <laughs> it'll be the biggest thing since Kiva versus Knight. <laughs> but it'll be from horrible burning swelling. Possibly possible. Possibly. God, this is the darkest here's, unboxing here's a bit of smartwatch <laughs> ever. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. <laughs> and we're connected to Wi-Fi. We don't care what Pokemon cards you own, Mike. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign into my Goggle account. Exactly. While he's doing that, I'm gonna show cute cards. Here's a cute Gabite. It's how Isn't we can, it cute? It's how we can legally tag this video as Pokemon as well. Yeah. Imagine <laughs> how many views we'll get if you have Pokemon in the tag. You're not even chilling the frame. Sure. <laughs> I think, yeah, I'm not even paying attention. It's kind of zoomed in, so I don't know if what you're doing is even in the Here's shot. A chin -chin now. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> you have to edit the shit out. Ah! Of <laughs> yeah, I'm just logging into my. Oh, goal. and here's my favorite mail tag. Well, I almost got the full des description of the attacks on that one. Yeah, we saw the left hand smallest. God damn it, me, me! Stop it! I'm doing things. <laughs> <laughs> and cut the set. And there's the calendar app, pretty nice. Now I can finally yeah, know what well, date it is. Well, I get it in frame as I time date the video, but I said I'd have it up same day anyways. Pretty neat. You can click things to add events on the calendar. And let's take a look at the camera app. I was about to say, I feel like you're going to have a lot of fun pretending you're a spy, taking pictures with this thing on your wrist. Now we can kind of almost see so. But that's like the worst spy technology ever, because it'd have to be the front camera, and you'd have to go... And yet, you can switch to the front camera. And there's there's me. I'm struggling to keep this thing well in the frame. Camera-ception. Yeah. Ooh, the power of camera-ception. That's gonna suck the day that, like, you're walking somewhere, and it drops out of your watch thing, and someone steps on it, and that's your entire life. Way to illustrate my perfect nightmare, Lane. Thank you so much. <laughs> You'll <laughs> drop into despair, there'll be purple cracks all throughout your body, and the wizard will have to come in and save your ass. It's yeah. got a compass in it, that's pretty cool. <laughs> what the fuck do you need a compass anymore? When you're in the forest, you just use Google Maps and you'll be good. Google or Maps, where am I in the forest? Or you could just try to remember where Lake Ontario is. That's th this is interesting. It comes with a built-in file manager app. Some phones don't have that. And a built-in flashlight app. Most phones have that now. 
Don't shine front. This, this is a phone that goes on his wrist that he happens to aesthetic. Ah! <laughs> as I blind... I am now officially blinded. As I... Don't Pay attention while I blind you. Don't yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. What's it? Oh, there's an app that goes right to the launcher. That's interesting. Right to the launcher. The launcher is in the home screen. Uh, we have text messaging app. I have no conversations yet because I have to restore my text message files, which I can do. There's an app for that. There's the music player. There are no songs on it yet, of course. Just came prepackaged with some common writer themes. No, it'll be some shitty country music. That's what most computers come prepackaged with. Oh, all the time. There's the contact list, which some I have to set up. Buffett. And here we have the phone app. Pretty neat. No, Jim Burns. That's a fucking. That's a fucking always Windows Media Player always comes with. Yeah, let's just see. Peggy, she called 911. That's always free. <laughs> Typing typing a phone number in this doesn't seem to be too difficult, despite the small keys. <laughs> it's got free local and long distance calling. You've got free long distance calling. No, Your mother stopped. has long distance calling. I don't know. Because she got, like, boyfriends in other it, places. Yeah, it comes with a built-in Google search app. And they fucking her. Let's take a look at... There's the settings. They pretty fucking your mom Pretty standard. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for keeping it classy, boys. That's what I do. Uh, it's got a sound recorder, which is useful because I always come up with ideas for my novel while I'm driving and I need to record them so I don't forget them. Idea for a novel. <laughs> what if Star Wars took place in the real world during an orgy? <laughs> it's got a stopwatch function on it, which we can use for a video recording. It's got a voice dialer, which I will definitely be using. <laughs> Simplify it. Let's Four, just make one, six! Let's just make another Star Wars. Just simplify it. Nine Star Wars. Sword on contact dial nine one one. It's got a couple of widgets on it. The it clock, the email. We I put it to you, EJ. If you can customize your phone to have a name and respond to a certain name, you call that shit Alpha Five. <laughs> or you can call it Glitch, like I call that phone. Alpha, read his escape. Yeah. Recruit a team of teenagers with attitude. Teenagers and it's with attitude. Promptly not us, because we're not teenagers. Oh. Oh. Not anymore. Recruit a team of twenty somethings like, with attitude. It's a show about the kid, about the guy, about the twenty somethings who want to be power there you go, Paul, you wanted can't because they're not teenagers. You wanted an analog clock? There it is. There you go. You can make a widget with it. Uh, it is, you know, it's one of those things in your life. Like we're all we're all secretly like upset that you know when we turned sixteen we didn't get teleported to a command center. When we were eleven we didn't get that letter from Hogwarts. I I don't, it happen. I don't like Harry Potter. Are you telling me you wouldn't want to go live in that world, you ass? Harry Potter. <laughs> mm. When we were ten, if given the chance, I probably would. When we were ten, a professor didn't hand us a Pokedex and a Pokeballs and tell us go live on your own, you ten-year-old. Go march in the woods. See now that I would tell Professor Oak to fuck off. So I I go when we turned twenty-one, we were like, haha, we can already drink, we're drinking gamble because we it's did that in nineteen. One at a time, boys. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so that's a quick look at the apps and the widgets that are on board with this thing. I'm gonna down. I'm gonna see if I can get some apps downloaded on this and see if we can put this thing through its paces. But in the meantime, I have a couple of peripherals sitting about that I'd like to try. As you can see here. Is that thing like the per a peripheral for it? The, the the joystick? Yeah. Oh yeah. That thing's sick. I have one of those. That's cool. First thing I'm gonna try so is cool. my USB mouse which I am able to use thanks to the magic of this particular cord right here, which is a micro USB to USB adapter. Thanks to the been magic of wizards. Which I've been using on my computer to have a PC. The mouse is bigger than it is. Yeah. yeah, for comparison, there you go. Why do you need that? You'll see in just a second. I'm the concerned consumer. No, Why do you need that? Technology really has taken the opposite turn of what most people think matters in life. You know, it, like everyone says, oh man, it's got to be bigger and better, but in all the technology's case, it's got to be sleek and sexy. All right, so that's a no to the mouse. Every other Android device I have, well, anything running 4.0 or above, I think, pre usually recognizes it, but this is... I guess I know. Maybe maybe the developers realized, okay, you know what, ass? You don't need to plug your mouse into your wrist. Well, maybe I do. Did you ever consider that? No. They're going to create a plate for your belt 
that you can clip a mouse pad to and you can just constantly have it at your side. It's a shame that we're not going to be alive when the Omni tool becomes a thing. That'll be the day. Omni tool is a fucking Omni tool. Alright. What do you think a phone is, man? An Omni tool. <laughs> That's what this is, basically. Alright, I'm going to fire up some Bluetooth devices and we'll see what we can get connected here. Excellent. First off, I have this little combination keyboard mouse pad Attic. slash laser pointer. Don't do it! <laughs> just blinded our audience. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and let's see what we can In do here. In the face. Warning may cause seizures. We may have to put that in there now. Warning may cause seizures. <laughs> may cause seizures if you watch this episode. Oh, it's looks like, like, it's, looks like it's, picked up, it's picked up my keyboard. <gasps> It's like that four you got in that cool? Six, four, enter. And we're back to Pokemon references. Oh, it's connected. Let's see what we can do with it. <gasps> the mouse is working! The mouse is working! We have introduction! Before the mouse is working! I'm gonna, I gotta Ladies zoom in and, and get, you've gotta see this. The mouse is working! <laughs> We have a working mouse on the Neptune Pine. This is where you put in the Ode to Joy. I bet music. none of the other unboxing videos try out this shit. Because <laughs> no one on Earth owns one of those. No, do you realize what this means? What does this mean? Playing games on this thing just got fuck tons easier. I guess. And this thing, that makes it so much easier. Yes, the next thing I want to try is... This Bluetooth sexy, sexy fucking thing. Wait, I want it, it is the Steel Series Free, which is a Bluetooth controller meant for c connecting to pretty much anything. Yeah, no, I have one. How have how how has your experience been using it? It works on a Mac, so I'm gonna assume it works on everything. Yeah, well, the, <laughs> it the, works the on instruction Mac. booklet tells you how to connect it to Android devices yeah. and uh, Actually, iOS devices. That'd be pretty cool if you could have connected to that, because you realize well, how you, you can playing play. ROMs on this thing is um, would be amazing. No, not even that. Like. Turn like turn the wrist thing around so that's on the inside of your wrist. Mm -hmm. Like oh, I see. So you can play like that. That and you like that. That's oh. gonna be that's gonna be the first time in history the controller is behind the like is behind the game screen. Yeah, we're gonna try that. Okay, so uh, test number two is complete success. Let's uh, let's see how the keyboard works on this thing. Uh, let's get into a texting app. Messaging, I guess new message. Let's type a message. Yep, keyboard works good. Your keyboard works well. <laughs> no, Thanks. Paul, good. We don't Thanks, have time. We don't have time for proper English, man. This is technology we're testing Thanks, here. Thanks, Patrick Stewart. Bitch. Acting. Acting. Yep. See, texting works great. Also, on this little never a keyboard device. Normally, I'd be on your side, but I'm kind of way overexcited because I've waited almost a year for this thing. It's true, he has. Okay, so this works good. Uh, let's go ahead and try this thing. It's nice to finally know you as a... because I've only known you about it just over a year now, and it's nice to know you finally as a complete man. <laughs> that whole time, that whole time, I just felt, you know, something's missing. Something's missing in this man's happiness. I felt like I should have pulled a prank on you where I take your Neptune Pine during the night and keep it in my room, and the next morning you wake up and I'm just like, oh, I'm like, Ish, you can't wait for your Neptune Pine to arrive. If you had kept this from me, I would have. And that's why I'm not. No, that's why I wouldn't because I know you're looking I guess, forward to this. Uh, I forgot to charge this thing, so we'll have to try that later. No, that's when you make the performance. You want to plug this perfect. in one of those chargers? That's when you make the performance perfect. I would have seriously considered harming you physically if you had kept this from me. Oh, I wouldn't. No, I would never get it. Okay, I then we're good. I might have. <laughs> Alright, we're still besties. Um, I guess it's kind of a waste testing this keyboard since the other one worked. Uh, so I guess that's pretty much it for peripheral testing. Seriously, at the why would you want to use a useless keyboard? <laughs> I'm not saying I would. I'm saying I can. <laughs> I am a man who lives by a principle of what can I do. Then I decide what I want to do. Oh, soda. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's about it for testing it at, in its initial stage. Whoops, I dropped it. Uh, we're going to load this thing with some apps and see what we can do with it when we come back for part three.